It's time now for the Perry Channel 5 o'clock news for this Thursday evening, February 19, 2015. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. I got 5 o'clock news at 9 there. And I top story at 5 o'clock here is. In Las Vegas, Nevada, where Las Vegas police have taken a suspect in the killing of a woman in an apparent road rage incident into custody after a tense standoff not far from where the woman was killed last week. President Barack Obama took pains Thursday to stress once again the West is not at war with Islam as he wrapped a three-day White House forum on bound extremism, but in the end, through criticism that we are going to go to extremes and avoid talking about. CRE superbugs are becoming more widespread in hospitals than other health care facilities as they can cause infections that are, that are difficult or sometimes impossible to treat. Bobby, Christina Brand's grieving tube removed. Walmart raises pay to retain workers as labor market tightens. Today is the NBA trade deadline and teams have until 3 p.m. Eastern time to make a deal that will shape their future and or the rest of the season in a push for talent contention. Turkey and the United States signed an agreement Thursday to train and arm Syrian rebels fighting in the Islamic State group, said the U.S. U.S. takes a swipe at Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel, said it sounds like he knows more about the Rand deal. The Al Jazeera journalist released from the Egyptian prison earlier this month as described his former cellmate, Irish teenager Ibrahim Halawa, as a real character of remarkable mental strength. Cairo, Cater has recalled its ambassador to Egypt for consultations after comments by Egypt's representative for the Arab League accused in the Gulf state of supporting Islamic terrorism. There was an uproar of an accusation by Rudolph Giuliani that President Obama does not love America. He poorly made that claim at a private Republican fundraiser in New York. Boston Marathon bombing suspect Johar Zarnett prospects of getting his terrorism trial moved out of the city appeared to dim as two federal appeals court judge questioned his lawyer's contention that the defense case is doomed. In Austin, Texas, defined Texas as long standing ban on gay marriage, a lesbian couple wed in Austin on Thursday that immediately after being granted a marriage license under a one time court order because one of the women has cancer. A federal judge in New York has ruled that American Express violated antitrust laws when it told merchants that they couldn't both accept cards and try to steer customer cards to offered by arch competitors Visa and MasterCard. The dollar is slightly higher against all major competitors on Thursday as larger than expected drop in the weekly jobless games has overshadowed this point in Philly Fed and leading economic index reports. Apple will buy Tesla Motors. The Federal Trade Commission on Thursday sued block Cisco Corporation's acquisition of rival U.S. Foods Incorporated, a long-awaited move that sets the stage for a major court battle over the plan to combine the two, are the two nation's largest food distributors. Eddie Murphy turned down Bill Cosby impression on SNL anniversary as Bill Cosby sides with Eddie Murphy. From John and Yoko to Miley Cyrus, Andy Leibovitz to David Club Chappelle, the cover Rolling Stone has always been an art form in its own right. According to New York City Plan no, on climate change, an independent body composed of climate scientists, New York could see the six foot increase under a worst case scenario. A winner has been declared in the debate about stars, dark matter, and black holes that can help us understand how elliptical galaxies grow. In New York, egg and red meat lovers may find reason rejoiced by a decision by a U.S. advisory health panel to remove warnings about dietary cholesterol saying that are no lit to dangerous levels of blood cholesterol that cause. Sitting in the pediatrician's hospital with her six day old daughter, the two moms couldn't wait to meet their doctor that they picked up months ago for. Take a look at stock market for Dow, 17.985.07, down 44.08, SP Farm, 29.745, down 2.23, NASDAQ, 49.24.70, up $18.34. European markets, DEX, 11,001.94, up $40.94. FTSE, 68.88.90, down 9.18. CAC, 40.43.28, up 34 and a quarter here. Asian markets, Nikkei, 18.264.79, up 65.62. Shanghai 32.47.43 up 25.07. HSI 24.832.08 up 47.20. Oil markets 51.30 down 84 cents. Brent 60.12 down 41 cents. And natural gas 2.825 down 6,000 a point. And the gold markets 1206.90 up 6.78 cents. Silver 
dollars and thirty-six cents up nine five thousand point. Copper two point six one three five down one thousand point. And the bonds, U.S. ten-year yield two point one two two one percent up five four thousand point. German ten-year yield zero point three eight six percent down three thousand point. And Japanese ten-year yield zero point four zero percent up two thousand point. In the FX bonds, there European U.S. dollar one point one three six four down two thousand point. U.S. dollar Japanese yen. 118.99 up 500 little point and Great Britain pound US dollar 1.5411 down 1,000 little point. In the commodities there, the agricultural commodities there. For the week, 527 and 3 quarters unchanged. Soybean, 1,007 and a quarter up 11 and a half. Corn, 389 and 3 quarters up 6. Sugar, 14 all 68 cents down 41 cents. Coffee one forty nine dollars and twenty cents down three dollars and sixty cents. Cotton six four dollars and forty four cents down eighteen cents. Rough rice ten dollars and eighty cents down seven cents. And cocoa three thousand and twenty five down two. Love kettle one hundred and fifty one point seventy down nine two five thousand point. Lean on six seven point two two five up three and FD cattle two two point twenty down ninety cents. Take a look at New England is here in Patterson, New Jersey, and Passaic County. A working fire 39 Broadway as a fire shown from a daycare center inside a two-story church. And in Milton, Massachusetts, a working fire at 27 Lieutenant Jake Cavanaugh Drive, a building fire. In sports news here, Kevin Garnett, Tim Wills come away, winners then trade back to Minnesota. Reggie Jackson gets a fresh start as Mass opportunity with Detroit Pistons as the Detroit Pistons are permitted to give Reggie Jackson some of the Oklahoma City Thunder never did a chance to prove himself a First unit leader for the long term. Brandon Knight traded his son, Michael Carter Williams, to the Milwaukee Bucks in a trade with the 76ers here. And the Philadelphia 76ers somewhat shockingly moved swingman KJ McDowell to the Houston Bucks at Thursday's trade deadline. Grades for buddies Dale Moore and Sam Hinkle as follows. The Portland Trailblazers are grieving for Jerome Kersey and death linked to a blood clot. Celtics and the Bruins of the night off. Peter Chill News on 507 here on this. Thursday evening here at it's time for a travel report here on this. Thursday evening here. Mass back on the south and mass back on the west band side slow from both ends in the south Boston section. Mass back west band side slow from the Peru tunnel all the way out to Weston and you hit the brakes again from Route 30 in the Natick all the way down for Framingham here. South Face Express is slow from the Pike all the way down for the split. San Francisco Express is sold from Quincy all the way down to Dorchester here. Route 128 on the San Pan side. It's sold from Route 2 in Lexington all the way down for the Braintree split. So a big, big delay in 128 here. Route 120 on the North Pan side. It's backed up from the split all the way up to Route 20 in Randolph here. Route 120 on the North Pan side. sold from Route 20 in Waltham all the way up to Redden here. And in the Linfield here. 93 on the North South Pan side slow from Somerville all the way down to the Zekin Bridge. Tippinola Tunnel slow on both ends here. We got an accident in the Tippinola Tunnel on the South Pan side, so expect some delays here. Route 93 on the North Pan side, it's slow from the Zekin Bridge all the way up to Route 110 in Lawrence here. Route 3 on the North Pan side, it's slow from the Route 120 in Burlington all the way up and in Chelmsford. 95 more fine from 128 to the New Hampshire border here, and look at New Hampshire, 39395 from one from the, in the Granite State, 39395 Milan Pine here, and in Raymond, New Hampshire, an accident in left lane blocked on Route 101, eastbound on Old Manchester Road, which is exit 4, so expect some delays here, and in Wyndham, an accident on Route 93, North Pine, Pelham Road on exit 2 here, a look at 495, it's slow from Route 3 in Chelmsford all the way out to Route 133 in Tewksbury. 495 on the south pine side, slow from Route 119 in Littleton all the way down for Route 2 in Acton here. Route 2 in the east pine side, slow from Belmont all the way down for the 
Fresh Pond Parkway, Route 495, slow down for Westboro Stretch. Cheers, doing an excellent run. Route 9, eastbound around Route 85, stir, Southboro Stretch, expect middle A's here. Mass Pike, ramp, accident around 495, so expect middle A's here. Route 24, then stop on side, slow. Do uh, you get on 24 south from Route 120, so expect middle A's here. 95, slow from Mansfield all the way out to Route 152 in North Atterbury. Route 3, then stop on side, slow from the Rain Tree Split all the way out to Derby Street in Hingham, due to an accident on Route 3 in the North Bound side near Union Street, and then. Number accident three stop right near the brain tree split. So expect some delays here on this Thursday afternoon here as we take a look at the Worcester area outlook. 290 on westbound slow from route 190 down for route 9 in Worcester. So we got an accident 290 eastbound for exit 19 route 190 in Worcester here. And route 146 on the northbound side. So from route 99 coming along. Lincoln all the way up to North Smithfield here. Route 95 is southbound side. Slow from Branch Street and Providence. Down for downtown Providence. And slow from downtown Providence. On Route 95 from Matt Wells Avenue. Down for Route 295 at Warwick. 95 on the northbound side. is slow from Matt Wells Avenue. All the way down for downtown Providence. 195 on westbound side. It's slow from Route 44 in East Providence. Down for downtown Providence here. 295 is modified from Annabelle. Dane for Warwick here. And uh, Jamestown and Newport Bridges are more on fine, and the Bourne and Sagamore Bridges are more on fine here. And Route 6 is more on fine from Sagamore Dane for Orleans here. And Route 20 is more on fine from Bourne Dunn for Falmouth here. And 195 wise is more on fine from Prominent Stand for Wareham here. And Route 149 is up on side, so on Route 6 in New Bedford here. And a look at the MBTA service, service updates here as limited rail and bus service will be available. On Thursday, and limited blue line service will operate between Bonin and Wonderland stations on Thursday. Limited green line will operate between Prudential, Leechmere, and Kenmore and Leechmere only on Thursday, with limited trolley service on the C and D lines there. Limited orange line has resumed between Oak Grove and Wellington stations, and trains will operate between Horse Hills and Oak Grove stations there. And Ashmont Friends been restored at the JFK Ashmont. Limited rated. Line train service between AOF and JFK on the Braintree Branch and shuttle buses available here. And a service on the Mattapan Trolley line will remain suspended on Thursday as limited shuttle bus service will be provided from Ashmont to Mattapan. And all silver line bus service experienced a moderate to severe delays due to weather related issues here. And on the commuter rail, lots and lots of delays and on the commuter rail here. Peter Chell News on 512. Time now for a weather report here on this. Thursday evening, here, our current nation is here in Massachusetts at 5 o'clock. 21 degrees, that temperature overcast skies. Gravity of 47%, wind speed west by 16 gusts under 29 miles per hour. Barometer, 262 inches, duper mark, 4 above. Visibly 10 miles and a wind chill, 7 above. A look at our current conditions around the region here on this early, on this early Thursday evening here are 22 degrees in Boston, it's 20 out in Fitchburg, 21 in Bedford, it's 24 in Beverly and Gloucester, it's 23 in Abel, it's 69 in Worcester, 16 in Surbridge, 17 in Webster, 22 in Milford, 21 in Norwood, it's 22 in Taunton, 21 in Bedford, it's 27 in Plymouth, 21 in Falmouth, 24 in Chatham, 25 in Prosthead, it's 21 in Marfa's Vineyard, 23 in Nantucket, it's 21 in Blockton and Westley and Providence, it's 19 in Smithfield, it's 21 in New York City, 21 in Islip, it's 22 in Montauk, 22 in Lawrence, and it's 20 out in Bridgeport, 22 in New Haven, it's 17 in Denbury, 16 in Waterbury, 19 in Meriden, Connecticut, 20 in Hartford, Connecticut, 19 in Winslow, Connecticut, 17 in Springfield, Massachusetts, 18 in Amherst and in Athol, 19 in Greenfield, 12 above in North Amherst, 8 above in Pittsfield, 13 in Albany, New York, it's 15 in Stradoga Springs, it's 15 in Rutland, Vermont, 12 in Bainton, 11 in Bradbury, it's 18 in Lebanon, New Hampshire, it's 18 in Keene, Hampshire, 15 in Jaffa, Hampshire, 19 in Laconia, New Hampshire, it's 20 in Cochrane, Hampshire, 22 in Manchester, and Natural, New Hampshire, 27 in Potsdam, New Hampshire, and 27 up in Port Maine, here. And the water temperature, 37 degrees, there. Okay, take a look at the service map. Shows a line of warm front from northeastern Alberta, stretching down for western Saskatchewan, down for eastern Montana, down merging with a warm stationary front from eastern Wyoming, stretching it down for the Rockies, down for western Texas, merging with a cold front from central Texas, stretching in the Gulf of Mexico, stretching in central Florida, and out to sea. A cold front around Haiti and Dominican Republic, out to sea. And another cold front from northeast Minnesota, stretching in for the Great Lakes, up in eastern Ontario, and an upper middle of Quebec here. A pink front off the main coastline stretching on the western portion of Nova Scotia between 
low pressure and off the main coastline and way off Nova Scotia here. And we get a front line down from New Mexico, another front line from Central Nevada down from Southeastern California, and a front line from Northwestern California up the Oregon coastline here. And we got another front line from British Columbia stretching out to sea here at the Pacific here. And we got low pressure in Northeast Wyoming down from South Central Colorado, and we got high pressure in two ridges of high pressures here. One ridge from the eastern Pacific Northwest down for the southwest, and another high pressure stretching in outfit the upper and middle Mississippi Valleys here. Five above in Detroit and Pittsburgh, 19 in Washington, D.C., 26 out in Atlanta, Georgia, it's 60 out in Miami, Florida, 69 in Brownsville, Texas, 55 in Dallas, Texas, 15 in Kansas City, 2 above in Chicago, 6 above in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 20 in Omaha, Nebraska, 51 in Great Falls, Montana, 49 in Seattle, 58 in San Francisco, 64 in Los Angeles, 70 in Las Vegas, 77 in Phoenix, 61 in Denver, 62 in Albuquerque, and 57 out in Salt Lake City, Utah here. Okay, let's take a look at our radar situation here on this Thursday afternoon here. As we're looking at the overcast skies over Norton here, some snows, showers and snow squalls around. Root. Mass back in 120 around Weston and stretch of the noon. Inside the 120 belt around the southern greater Boston area and stretch it past Route 3 from Quincy, all the way down from Citrus, down from Marshfield, down from Plymouth here, and stretching out the Boston Armour stretch around Province Sound and line of snow showers off the outer Cape Nouns here. And snow showers around Lowell Lawrence and around Beverly and up into between Dirt and National New Hampshire here. And snow off the Cape Ann here and and it's snowing around Main Turnpike from Wells, stretching it up into Portland, and then stretching it up into, around Auburn and near Lewiston here, and line of snow showers around western portion of the Maine here, and the Maine coastline here, and the southern Maine coast around Wells here, and another line of snow showers in the mid coast Maine, east west of Brooklyn and, and Belfast here, and east of Augusta and up into Waterville. And it's snowing up in northern and eastern portions of down eastern Maine and up in the northern Maine, stretching it out in New Brunswick and snowing around central portions of Nova Scotia and sleeting around the central coast of Nova Scotia and it's rain off the Nova Scotia. And a lot of snow showers around eastern portions of Quebec and a lot of snow showers in southwestern Quebec, south of Montreal, and stretching up in the northwestern portions of Vermont. And some spotty snow showers around upstate and central and western portions of New York and some spotty snow flares from Pennsylvania, down from west of West Virginia, down from northeastern and central portions of Ohio, stretching in eastern Michigan, western oh, Ontario, and a line of snow showers around western Michigan and down from north central portions of India. No. And some snow showers from central Missouri, stretching in western Iowa, down from the eastern Dakotas, and stretching up in the southwestern Manitoba, and down from southern and central portions of Saskatchewan, and down from west central portions of Saskatchewan here, and we're seeing some line of rain showers around the western Washington and stretching out for southwestern British Columbia around Vancouver here. Storm sleet and rain showers around eastern portions of British Columbia here, and some rain showers from south central and southeastern portions of Washington State down for north central portions of Idaho down for western portions of Montana, and some sleet and snow showers around the mountains of western Washington here, and some rain and Snow and sleet showers run north of Edmonton and up north central Alberta and stretch in the northwestern portions of northern Alberta and some snow showers in east central portions of Alberta and up in northwestern portions of Saskatchewan here and some rain showers in southeastern portions of Alaska here and take a look at our Take a look at a satellite loop shows line clouds coming to much of the northeastern portion of the country and coming much of the Canadian Maritimes there and stretching it down for Great Lakes and then upper and middle Mississippi Valley and stretching down for eastern Kansas, stretching over Nebraska and up in the Dakotas and coming to much of the Canadian provinces here from British Columbia, stretching down for Quebec and down to the Canadian Maritimes and a line of clouds coming to much of western Washington down to Oregon, stretching to northern Idaho down from Montana and stretching down for Wyoming here, and Atlanta clouds from Northern California and Nevada, stretching down for Utah, down for Colorado, and stretch around Northern Arizona and Northern New Mexico here. Okay, let's take a look at our 
<laughs> Public discussion around the country here. Bitter cold will continue for the East Coast and ice events setting up across the Lower Mississippi Valley and Tennessee Valleys here. And bitter cold will continue across the East United States even if a broad total carved out of loft. The latest surge of Arctic air could bring some of the coldest weather since the mid 1990s in portions of the Southeast, Midland States, and such Appalachians on Friday upstream of the Arctic air mass dropping down from the Canada will plunge. Temperatures across the north central United States this weekend as a cold front at the leading edge of the frigid air would trigger light snows while at crossings the United the states from Canada and the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes and a rush of cold air should also force some upslope snows of ground and along the northern and central Rockies. The recent air took air mass settled in eastern half of the nation combined with moisture making a return from the Gulf of Mexico will set the stage for an acid band across portions of the lower Missouri and Tennessee Valley late this week as precipitation should bring in a breakout across the south central United States on Friday. A warm front surges northward and a surface flow deepens over the summer plains and a wide axis of sleet and freeze rain will be possible as a warm Gulf of Mexico air overruns and slow to erode Arctic air mass. An upper ridge and fine off the west coast will keep conditions warm and dry across much of the western United States this weekend. There. Okay, take a look at forecast discussion around the region here. Snow showers dissipate this evening and falling quickly by bitter cold and very cold wind chills tonight and then tomorrow morning. As low pressure will be allowing snow to develop Saturday afternoon, probably change the rain at least along the I 95 quarter Saturday night. Both perturbations should be over by Sunday afternoon as an Arctic cold front will usher in bitterly cold air. Monday and Tuesday, we are watching the potential for another winter storm Tuesday night and Wednesday, but it's far from a certain need. Near term until 6 a.m. Friday morning. Still notice some widespread snow showers across the region this afternoon. But a definite curl to the trajectory as this is following the upper level fourth max for today as low pressure in surface flies over the Gulf of Maine. It will be come a gale center with west northwest winds by 35 to 40 knots over our waters. As gale warnings continue and the winds will draw Arctic air across the waters, creating bands of ocean effect snow showers as conditions will also favor. Moderate and heavy freezing spray as a freezing spray warning continues during the late afternoon and evening. Tank, west northwest winds and gales, and moderate to heavy freezing spray will continue as ocean effects snow showers will continue as seas will peak at 5 to 10 feet on the exposed waters here. Friday, high pressure approaches from the western will slowly diminish the wind by Friday afternoon as gales will continue during the morning, except for Boston Harbor and Narragansett Bay, where a small crest will be needed as seas will slowly subside during the afternoon as the HF. H5 cutoff low pressure moves into New England air. We'll likely see these continue as a cold effect should maximize until the loss of the drilling heating as after which point should see these showers of snow dissipate into overnight hours. I've noticed some 20 or 30 dBZ echoes occasionally show some light, but rapid accumulations under an inch can't be ruled out. Otherwise, overnight, plenty of low level mixed in with too cold. Advection aloft and moderate 30 to 40 knots. With low level jet with a strong pressure gradient in place, we'll likely see about 60-75% of this. Momentum at SFC suggests wind gusts of 25-35 miles per hour at times, possibly even approach about 40 miles per hour at the coastlines, also playing warm for cold. I've actually had several sites to the western and Massachusetts and Connecticut are already dipping into the teens at this time as therefore we'll likely see a period where the wind chill values dip to between 20 and 30 degrees below low zero overnight. With a best chance for 25 or colder and the higher terrain of the West Hills and eastern slopes of virtual can see readings at 25 below zero as will be upgraded in the wind chill warning. Headlines with this update due to this threat as wind chill advisory standards issued elsewhere. Blended in the more recent MOS with bottle 2M temperatures which are handling the upstream air mass well as of this morning. Some sites will make runs at their record lows tonight. As we take a look at our web notes here, wind chills now ranging now from single digits to the teens here. Wind chills that could reach 15 to 25 degrees below zero. Tanks lows, we will see temperatures single digits to below zero readings around the region here. And tomorrow's highs should rebound to only 14 to 20 degrees here. Sunday storm starts to snow Saturday night and turns to ice and rain on Sunday. And I have to one inch rain. Roof concerning clogged drains. And snow squalls coming to an end in a few hours there. 
All right. Later on the weekend, storm accumulates snow and change to the rain late Saturday night and Sunday as snow overspreads southern New England on Saturday afternoon along the coastal plain including Boston and Providence. Snow changed to rain around and after midnight on Saturday night along the north of the IA4 in Connecticut and the Mass Pike, mostly all snow throughout Saturday night with pumps that freeze the rain at through midnight possible. Changing the light rain during Sunday before ending and snow and fall mass ranging from an inch or two near the coast to three to five inches long and north of it. Mass packing in the northwest Hartford County. Rainfall mats in the coastal plains after the changeover, a half to one inch of rain. Potential hazards, snow covered roads. Areas of dense fog late Saturday night and Sunday along the coast and poor drainage street flooding near the coast due to clogged drains and potential exacerbation and roof collapses, especially near the coast. And Take a look at the hazards. We are under a wind chill advisory. As Arctic cold wind chills expected tonight and tomorrow morning, as a wind chill advisory remains in effect from 3 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday. Location Eastern Massachusetts and much of it down here. Hazard types wind chill, wind chill readings as well as 20 to 25 degrees below zero here. Timing from 3 a.m. to 10 a.m. Friday. Impacts frostbite can develop in just 30 minutes and winds west 10 to 50 miles per hour gusts up to 35 miles per hour and temperatures. Two below the six above zero and precaution prepares actions. A wind chill advisory is issued when the wind chill index is likely to reach 15 24 degrees below zero for at least three hours. First, back in development in just 30 minutes with a wind chill index of 20 and below. If you're headed out to us, dress in layers and wear a hat and gloves. Day one tank, wind chill advisory, day two for seven, Friday for Wednesday, wind chill advisory, and snow to develop Saturday afternoon. And continue Saturday evening with a few inches of accumulation possible. The snow will actually change to rain Saturday night before ending sometime during the day Sunday. The concern is that any amount of rain could exaggerate on growing roof issues with a deep snow and covering in place. I never ran a brutally cold air is neat for a wind chill. Headlines expected Monday night and Tuesday morning here. And there'll be a chance for a coastal storm Tuesday night and Wednesday. If that system does not pass too far offshore, there'll be a chance for additional significant snowfall as governance is very low for that time period here. But it's too early to tell, so we'll take this one storm at a time here. All right, seven-day forecast goes like this for tonight. Clear sky with a low around one below. Wind chill fast as low as 15 below. West wind about 11 and 60 miles per gust size. 36 miles per hour for Friday. South sky about 70 degrees. Wind chill fast as low as 16 below. West wind about 9 and 14 miles per gust size. 31 miles per hour for Friday night. Clear sky with a low around three above. West wind about 5 to 7 miles per hour becoming a common evening near. For Saturday, snow likely may after 4 p.m. Increase clouds about a higher 30 degrees. Wind chill fast as low as one below. Calm wind coming to Saffron, 5 to 7 miles per hour in the morning. Winds can get size 21 miles per hour. Chest of the 70 miles Chest of the 70% and new snow accumulation less than half an inch possible. For Saturday night, snow before 1 a.m. Then rain and snow between 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. Then rain after 2 a.m. Areas of fog before and after 4 a.m. Low around 30 degrees. Saffron about 5 to 9 miles per gust size, 20 miles per gust potential is 9%. For Sunday, rain like rain before 1 p.m. Areas of fog, otherwise, clouds got high about 40 degrees, chance of spatial is 70%. Sunday night, most of clouds got low about 18 degrees. For Monday, puck sun sky about 24 degrees. For Monday night, puck clouds got with a low around 2 below. For Tuesday, most of sun sky about 22 degrees. Tuesday night, a chance of snow, most of clouds got low around 12 above. Chance of spatial is 30%. For Wednesday, a chance of snow, most of clouds got about 31 degrees, chance of potential is 40%. Why that? A chance of snow showers. Most skies got a low about 14 degrees. Chance of temperature 30 percent. And for Thursday, most sun sky about 25 degrees. Peter is what a phrase of the evening here. A frigid non tap for the night and a freezing Friday morning in store. Peter Wednesday, have a good evening with a good prize attitude. I'll see you for an 11 o'clock report. Have a good evening.